everyone. Welcome to uh, Watercolor Bible Journaling. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor Stamping and this technique. So we are going to move on in our Bibles and I'm going to show you how to stamp and watercolor the Gates of Righteousness set. So it includes this little gate. Uh, we're going to use the little butterflies and this little foreground stamp right here. So uh, super easy to do. We need a couple more things. So from the foliage set, we're going to use the little grass and this little branch right here and the little vine. And then in the flower set, the little filler flower, this one right here, this one, and uh, that's all we need. So let's get going. I have prepped the page in my Bible using my, um, my golden watercolor ground. So I am all ready to go. Don't forget to buff out your page. So I just use a little terry cloth like this and I just buff it out because I don't like that really gritty feel. I wanna be able to open my Bible and have it feel smooth. So don't forget that you can do that and you can do it after you've watercolored over it too. So I've prepped both sides, front and back, and I have a really nice finish to start with. Okay, so let's get going. We are gonna start out by inking the gate. So, so this is the basic image. We're gonna ink it in two colors. So we're gonna ink it in a number 565. This is a Tombow. And I'm gonna just ink this whole thing. Use the side of your marker. Uh, that's gonna work the best. It's gonna take you forever if you try to color on it like this. So always use the side of your marker and the thing about this technique is that it's meant to be quick and easy, so don't stress over little things. Uh, I'm going on now to my sepia, and the sepia color is actually number 969, and I'm going to now uh, go right over the top of that blue, and it's gonna give us a really nice kind of aged gray color. So I'm going to now stamp that off. I don't want this to be too dark in my Bible and too heavy lines. So I'm gonna stamp it kind of right in the center and just kind of press down. Make sure you have a good even pressure. Don't just mash it into your page so that your lines are too thick. You wanna just uh, get a good even uh, impression. So let me just move this up so that I can you can see better. Okay, so let's go on now to the small foreground image. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna ink it in two colors. So the blue, it's kind of a navy blue. It's a cool blue. So the two colors together, this kind of earthy sepia color and that blue really create this nice gray. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna stamp this off and then I'm just gonna place this in the foreground. So right about there looks good to me. And we are ready to get going now. So the first thing we wanna do is uh, dip our brush in water and pinch it off. So we're gonna start out by just dragging the color out of the lines. And that's kind of what the the ground does is it sort of makes your your Bible page uh, more like a watercolor canvas and it really helps to spread that ink so it just works great so I've chosen to stamp this um, at Psalm 118 and I love this verse that says to me open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord this is the gate of the Lord the righteous shall enter through it and I thought that's a perfect place to stamp this little gate. So I am just kind of working my way down. Uh, like I said, don't stress about this. You're just pulling the color out of the lines and we're gonna add lots more to it. So if it's not perfect, um, that's okay. And if you're, you're making this as a, a legacy Bible for a family member or a close friend, you know, they will appreciate the time that you've spent and trust me, they're not gonna they're not gonna look at every little detail and say, wow, that's, that looks a little out of place. They're gonna treasure it and love it so much. So I am now moving down to this area and you can see uh, I'm pulling the color out of the lines just on the bottom of these little, these little rocks and you can see how that changes the contour. So you can see leaving a little highlight on top kind of brings those those rocks up and makes them look a little more rounded. So that's what we're going for. We don't want things to look flat. So when we leave that, leave that highlight on the top, we can see that the little rocks look contoured. 
all just kind of little tricks. Okay, so one more little thing here and uh, we can move on to the next step. So I'm just dragging the color out of this little pot. Uh, it is rounded, so we wanna see that highlight in the center. And we'll do more with this later too. So let's just, let's just keep going here. Okay, so the next step is going to be to uh, add some vines and some flowers now to this gate. So I'm using the little vine here, and you can use any green. Uh, I'm using uh, number 249, but like I said, you can use any green. And I'm just gonna start by stamping this in here on the side. And remember with the vines and the foliages, you wanna get this in here a bunch of times. It's really, really important to get that dark to light uh, impression. So you want to see that. You wanna see the dark image, but you also wanna see the light. So up here, and then let's just put some more over on this side. And you know, you can do as much of this as you want to. If you wanna just load this little gate up with tons of flowers and foliages, like just go for it. Uh, you can do whatever you want to do. So I am just kind of growing these little vines over the top and to the side of this gate. And it always looks like a mess to me when I'm doing things like this. And don't, um, don't panic when you uh, get to the stage because it, it really will all come together, I promise. So now we're going to dip our brush in water and pinch it off. And remember, you want to pinch it off. And what we're doing now is we're just dabbing. So we're just touching all of these little areas that we just stamped. And we're just kind of blending it all together. Super fun. This is the fun part. And this is kind of where the magic begins. Uh, because like I said, it looks like it's kind of a mess. And then you get to the stage and it's sort of like, wow, this is all kind of coming together. So I love that about it. It's really hard to mess up these projects, thankfully. Um, and that kind of takes the stress out of it too. So whether you think you have any artistic ability or you think you have zero, um, you can do these techniques, super easy. So you can see I'm just working my way around and just dabbing. So always dip your brush, pinch it off, and then come back over to your uh, stamped image. And don't, don't be afraid to drag that color outside of the lines. If you think that it's getting too dark and a little too muddy, uh, just, just keep pinching your brush off. Just go drier and drier. And just kind of keep working your way around. You can drag some of this color uh, from the sides uh, out into the uh, to the outside and blend it up. Just so fun. Okay, let's put a little bit into this little pot here. So I'm gonna take this little vine and I'm just gonna ink the top. So just the top of it and I'm just gonna add a little bit in to this pot. And the same. We're just gonna kinda touch it with a brush. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So let's go on to the next step, and that is to add some flowers now. And we're gonna do that with this little daisy bunch. And I'm gonna start with the lightest color. Uh, I'm not very good at cleaning my stamps, so I always start with the lightest color so that I don't have to clean them that often. I don't know what that means about me, but uh, maybe it just means that I'm really impatient because I will fully admit to that. So just kind of work your way around. And remember this too. So you want to stamp it in a repeat. So you want to stamp it over and over again. Just one, two, three, and really get this color in here. It's, it's more important that you stamp it over and over than, than really that you get it in the right place because it really will kind of all come together. Okay, so once we've got that stamped in, now we're going to add the water and just kind of blend this up, so cute. And the more you blend, the softer it'll get. So if you like that really uh, faded out watercolor look, it's almost more of a whimsical look. 
uh, just keep blending. You'll get that. Okay, so let's move on to the top now. And I'm just going to add another bright color here. So this is orange 925. And you can see that I'm only inking a couple of these. So this is a, a fairly big stamp, but this gate is kind of uh, pushed more into the background. So I don't need all of these blooms. So I'm just inking two, just two, but I'm still going in a circle. I just wanna make sure that I'm stamping on top of uh, itself and getting enough uh, light and dark variation. So important to get that. And maybe let's just do one more down in here. This gate is really gonna be blooming bright. Okay, so now we're adding water to it. Same as we did before. And just touch, just touch it. There's not, there's not really a brush stroke here. So you're not, you're not painting and dragging your color down like that. You're just touching it. And my hand is flat on the table or onto my Bible. And so I'm just kind of bouncing my brush um, off of the image. So just kind of jumping it up and down. And my brush is really pretty dry, so it doesn't take a lot of water. These lines are really tiny, and so you don't wanna overwork it with too much water. Okay, so we've got some bright colors in here. It looks pretty good. And now I'm gonna add some more color. So I'm gonna add some sky color in here. I love this blue. This is a 528. Uh, I love this color. It's a really warm blue, and I think it just really pops this color. So I'm just brushing in this area because this is inside the gate, so this is where the sky would be. So just some really pretty sky color up here. And make sure you get enough uh, water. You know, when you're doing these larger areas, um, you know, especially the sky up in here, in the top. Uh, make sure you get enough water on your brush so that you can blend that. And just kind of work your way, work your way around. I really, I, I painted my ground clear over to this line. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but clear over to this line. So um, I can really pull this color over. I've got lots of space. And the more water that you add, the darker the color is gonna be. So if you want a really light sky, you just add more, more water to it. Okay, that looks good. We're starting to see things take shape here a little bit. And you can always come back in and add more. Okay, so I'm gonna add some detail now to my little yellow flowers. I'm just taking the fine tip now and I'm just making some little dots because I don't want these flowers to look the same, even though I use the same stamp. I want these to look a little different, so I'm just putting some little dots in. And you can see that that really changes the shape a lot. And you know, it's the idea of the flowers, so we don't need to see a lot of harsh edges uh, we just want to see the idea of it. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's go on to the gate, and we're going to do a little bit more to the gate here. We're going to add some of this blue, kind of our reflection from the sky a little bit. And, you know, the gate, we're, we're kind of leaving the gate white, but things are never just white and uncolored. They always have some color to them. So whether it's reflected light or shadow, you're always going to see some color on um, on a white surface. So we wanna do that. Don't be afraid to do stuff like this. And I, I think the more that you do these projects, the better at it you're gonna get. And, and I think that will really, uh, that's how you build your confidence, is just by doing these projects. And just think, by the time you get to the end of your Bible, you're gonna be so good. Okay, so now let's go on. We're gonna add some, uh, some little grasses in between these little cobblestones. And I'm gonna use a little lighter color here. And this is that little tiny grass. And I'm just gonna kind of stamp 
in between. Looks like the grass is a little overgrown here into the cobblestones. And you can just do as much of this, this grass as you want. And let's just bring it down uh, to this area too and get these little stones. I like doing these illustrations in three parts because it leaves you space to write. So in, in my Bible, I've got lines in here that I can see. So if I wanted to hand write notes in here, I can do that. Or the set comes with uh, some really, really beautiful phrases and things that you can stamp in here too. So uh, leave those spaces, you know, if you want to journal in your Bible. Uh, because you can always do that. Okay, so it's just stamp and add water. That's the whole technique. So easy. And I'm just going to add a little more green to this. So this is that darker green that we started with in the very beginning. And I'm just taking a little of this color now and just adding some of this in. And I'm gonna take some of this, this blue and I'm just gonna put a little blue on this pot. Let's just really make this bright. And I'm gonna put some of this green up in here as well. And just brush it in. So you can see you've got lots of space um, that you can write something in here, uh, or you can just leave it. Let's add a little more shadow in here. And sometimes I come back to these, you know, days, weeks later, and I'll just add something more to it. So you can do that too. Uh, I've added glitter to mine, so cool. This little edge here would be dark, so let's make that dark. And make sure we get enough color on this little pot. And let's go on to the next step. And we're, we're gonna take these little dots. They look like little dots, but they're really little flowers. And we're just gonna ink those up. This is the, this is the same blue that we used on the sky. And let's just put a few of them in here. And then you just touch it. Stamp and add water, that's it. And don't stress out about it, honestly. Um, it's supposed to be something fun, it's supposed to be uh, something relaxing, and it's, it's a great way to journal. People who are crafty and who like art, like we wanna decorate things too. We love decorating things, and I think Adding something personal in your Bible is just such a cool thing to do. Okay, so let's add our little butterflies in here and we are going to be about finished. Oh, one more thing. Let's add some details in. Let's add some, this is that little branch. So I'm just gonna add like a few little um, details in the background. And maybe a few up here. And let's add our little butterflies in. So I'm gonna ink these also in that um, kind of that sepia color, so that brown. And I'm gonna put them up a little bit higher, put them up a little bit higher up here so that I have space to write.
make them pretty simple. So I'm just gonna pull the color out of the lines, just like this. and add just a little bit of color to them. Soften this up just a little bit more. Okay, and we are almost finished. Uh, one thing left to do, and that is to date. Uh, make sure that you date the bottom. And we are finished with part one. Uh, Next week, in a, uh, the next video will be part two, so we'll do the other side of this page. And um, give it a try. I think you're gonna love doing this job. Thanks for watching. See you next time.